Hey, welcome. Please have a seat, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, how's everybody's Friday going so far, everybody? <laughs> I, I suspected as much. Welcome to the Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Uh, oh, don't forget daylight savings time. You guys, please don't forget this. Don't forget this. Don't forget this. Daylight savings time is this weekend. Remember, it's fall back. That means when it's 2 a.m. on Sunday morning, turn your clock back to 1 a.m. Then don't forget to set your alarm to wake you up at 2 so you can set it back to 1 again. <laughs> and if we all just keep doing that, it'll never be Tuesday. <laughs> and we won't know what happens. Somebody, somebody tell Barack and Michelle they're not leaving. <laughs> and with just four days, four days left in the race, there's some strange stuff going on. For instance, this is true, we just learned that Trump supporters are trying to trick people into thinking they can vote by text. <laughs> now, I just want to be clear to everybody watching, you cannot do that for the presidential election, but it does explain why Hillary Clinton just won America's Got Talent. <laughs> Her talent, by the way. Her talent. Yeah. Big time. Hillary's talent, by the way, blowing huge leads. <laughs> now, no one is saying the Trump campaign is out to stop people from voting, except for the Trump campaign, because last week an unnamed advisor said that the Trump campaign was, quote, having three major voter suppression operations underway, targeting liberals, young women, and African Americans. Wow, they really don't want Alicia Keys to vote. <laughs> of course, people are angry about the election, but they're angry about everything these days. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. instance, now is, uh, it's about time for the annual tradition for everybody to get mad about Starbucks holidays cups, okay? <laughs> now, Starbucks has not unveiled their official holiday cup yet, but, and this is true, the new pre-holiday cup is out. Here it is. Can you shout at that, Jimmy? There you go. Pre-holiday cup. Okay. It's green and has a picture of people drawn with one continuous line. Okay? Because what says Starbucks more than a line that goes on forever? <laughs> that meant... <laughs> Just know your order when you walk up. Just know your order. It's meant to symbolize unity. But people on Twitter have written furious responses to this cup like this one. Starbucks, green cups, war on Christmas, last days. <laughs> Starbucks, screw you. My coffee should not and does not come with political brainwashing. I dropped at Starbucks like a hot rock. <laughs> and perhaps the hottest take of them all, this is ugly. I want snowflakes. <laughs> yes, we want snowflakes. <laughs> We want snowflakes that symbolize this time of peace and love, or I will gouge out your eyes with a cinnamon chip scone. <laughs> People are more divided than ever by this unity cup, so I figured that we should check in with someone who is an expert on Christmas and, like Starbucks, is literally everywhere. God. So let's do that now. Are, are you there, Lord? It's me, Stephen. Yes, yes. Hey, Stephen, how you doing there? Yeah, I'm here. It's the uh, Lord, everybody. Say hi. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, how yeah. How you doing, Lord? Well, I'm a little tired uh, from watching the World Series the other night. Uh, did you like how I made it rain? Yeah, it was a good game. Good game. I'm sorry. Good what'd you game. Say? Uh, did you like how I made it rain before extra innings? What can I say? I'm a drama queen. Well, God, God, how do you feel about the new Starbucks cups? Are you are you boycotting? Oh, good me, no. I need my Starbucks. If I don't have my morning latte, I get all Old Testament. Sodom and Gomorrah happened because someone served me decaf. Okay, well, uh, good to know. But what, what about the war on Christmas? Oh, please. People need to lighten up. Without some stupid cup, people will just forget my son's birthday? Oh, that reminds me. I'm taking him to dinner. I gotta make reservations. It's the 25th, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I should know yeah, that. Yeah, I you should. should. Really know okay, that. now, uh, but uh, Lord, before you go, I'm just curious, since. God has so many names. What does the barista write on your cup? Well, uh, as a celebrity, I have a lot of aliases. God, Yahweh, Jehovah, but mostly I use my real name, Gary. <laughs> your, your name is Gary? Yeah, Gary Trendleton. Nice to meet you. Well, nice, nice to meet you, too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Gary. Hi, everybody. Call me, well, uh, me G-Dog. Thank you, Gary. We've got a great show for you tonight. Deagle
Mortensen is here. Oh, so stick he's around. good. We'll be right back.